Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing some Bant, uh, sort of Super Friends. The whole top half of the deck is Planeswalkers, as well as two Farewells. Uh, and the bottom half is uh, creatures that synergize well with uh, Broker's Ascendancy, as well as each other. Uh, we have four Wedding Announcements, four Ascendancies, two Extraction Specialists to get back our Resolute Reinforcements, which gives us two creatures basically on the board. This also synergizes with Gallag Readers because you get two pips on the Gallag Reader. Um, and then just having more stuff on the board obviously benefits the Ascendancy. Um, Shauna as well helps us draw as well as being a life linker for those aggro matchups. Um, the deck is very fun, especially when you get Ascendancy down and the opponent can't deal with it. However, I will say I had... I, I feel like I've been playing this deck for hours now, um, and it probably has been, but um, I think we wanted to rank up with it and we went all the way to one game away from diamond two and then dropped all the way back to the bottom of diamond three and then did it all again so um a lot of back and forth i'm not 100 percent what the win rate is as of now because i'm recording this just after finishing the games um but we did rank up with it so you can get there um if you are trying to have some fun and you like bant and or planeswalkers or brokers ascendancy this deck may be for you so um, i hope you guys enjoy the video if you do please leave a like and a comment down below let me know um, what you thought of the content and uh, i will see you in the games oh and stick around for the post game deck overview that happens at the end of the video we'll break down the matchups the win rate all that stuff uh there so um, i'll see you in the games and at the end of the video Okay. I'm keeping hands with three lands now. So much mana screw, it's crazy. Sure, a pilfer. Still no land to be found. Mm. Actually very tilting. Or On a land. See if they want to trade their sleeper. Okay. So Liliana. Great. Another land, please. Announcement works. Another land, please. I should sack a land here.
No despairs, please. Fine. <sighs> Nobody knows Dominaria. Do your like worst. Him. Weak. No, I'm good. So, oh. let's go run. Make a tree folk. Go plus. Let's go lifelink. Make him deal with that. Though I guess lifelink doesn't really matter since they have the dust shadow. Okay. I'll trade the braids if they attack in. Or destroy evil here. See what they go after. No block. This war is getting out of hand. The bird? Not the underdog? Uh, huzzah! Farewell. Yeah. Uh, actually, kind of want to carry around, don't we? Two, four, five, six, seven. We're dead next turn to the Blitz, so we have to do this. And then, if they want to make us discard, make them do it. So at least we get rid of that, I guess. 
<laughs> An invoke despair here is really rough. Land here is really rough too. See if we can get it out on their turn. I protect you. You must use your other spell. <laughs> That's the card we need. Actually, wait. One, two, three, four. The fairy. Costs. Wait. We attack. There we go. We figured it out. We got there in the end. Opponent first, don't like that. Find another land, do like that. We never don't find it. Easy peasy. No upgrades. Okay. They really need another land now. <laughs> the deck is toying with me. I don't like it. No trespasser, at least. Thank you. Sleeper to the moon. There's the land we need. Could drop an announcement if they go for plus to four. Next turn, destroy evil, I suppose. I think we get these going, though. Lock the sleeper here. They yellow up anyways. Huh? One more land, please. I'll take it. Alright. Establish the blockers. Next turn, Ascendancy. I'm feeling frisky, so we'll let three in. Now we have destroy evil and safekeeping up. Just in case of a shouldered. Our one ones are leveling up in the world. Feels good. Not despair. We'll respond by killing this. Give them a token and an announcement. We will take this block here. Okay, Shauna time. We do like this because Shauna can now chump block the underdog if they blitz it. And we're good from a Liliana perspective. 
Another Invoke Despair just takes our other announcement, and then Spot Removal, we save keeping. Next turn we go Emperor, and the comeback begins. No, I have another. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> That's just quit in the West. Bottom first, um... Hmm. We'll keep. we probably find another land. Hello. Woo! Shocker. A shocker indeed. Underdog on two, never don't have it. We'll definitely be looking to exile that. Okay, so they have removal. Would you like to use it? No. Since we have to wait a turn anyway, and I don't want to play Shauna out with um into what is probably a removal spell. We'll just go with the tap land here. Next turn, we'll Emperor the Underdog. Could also just Tamiyo. I guess it depends what they play here. Ooh, they just feel the ruin us? Yes, please. Wait. I do have basics. <laughs> I got concerned there for a second. Well, I think we take another three. Options now. Good Tamiyo, but then we kind of walk that into an Invoke Despair, which feels bad. Good Emperor, again, Invoke Despair feels bad. Could Shauna keep up? Yeah, I think it's Shauna here. Is it, though? No, it's not. Yes, it is. We use this for green. So we go white, blue, green, Shauna. I attack you. We block here in case we find a um, extraction specialist, but I think they just invoke despair here. Look for three. How rude. Okay. So we'll hold up Emperor next turn for the Blitz. We could Emperor now. The energy of we must protect and then go the Wedding way. Announcement. Or Tamiya. 
Both are viable. Okay. The green source here is good. Let's go announcement. Make another 2-2. Two, two. See if they use their removal now. Not yet. Let your blade do the talking. Weed up and invoke despair nicely here. Next turn we Tamio tap this down and exile it. Or we could go three for Shauna. Also an option. They're blitzing, we do need to block. They're not the ghost Soren. This is fine. Under my vampire nor shoot. You fight for me now. Mm. All you're doing? Alright. I'm never done for good. My judgment is final. Without Let me, Soren go. We're all doomed. Get two life. Invoke despair here takes out Tamio, which is unfortunate. Not what we want, but all right, that's fine too. This is fine. <laughs> Such an imperfect form. Be brave. We're just going to get wrecked now by this token. Invoke Despair does not save them. Although I think we do... No. I think we do sack Elspeth. If they have that. Next turn, that token gets airborne. But maybe we spread around our lifelink. I think that's probably a good idea. Seven mana, eight if they have another land. So, potential hook for five. Something we have to watch out for. Something we'll sacrifice our weakest token here. For once, it's not my fault. I've always hated crowds. Nice. Good top deck for us. I know there's a hero inside you. They can have their shoulder back online, don't really care about that. Oh, 
also just miss lethal like a chad. But we're having fun now, so <laughs> that's okay. And I think this is a concede coming our way. When you miss lethal, you assert dominance, so don't worry about it. Eh, looking for that extra draw. Rar. <laughs> hey, we'll keep. Keep forgetting to take this out. I don't even know why it's in here. I think we need to land here. Also, I definitely thought I could minus. Turns out, not the case. Death is temporary. Yeah, whatever. Another two. We deserve it for our idiocy. Another two. Destroy evil on that next turn. Uh, <laughs> okay. I destroy you. Another one. Same spot, huh? Save our little token. Hey, we found a land. Finally, every day more rally to our glorious lives. Um, good Shana, good Emperor, good Ascendancy. I think it's do nothing and Emperor, and then Ascendancy next turn. Nice. Got him. Yes, you may plus as many times as you want. 
But it makes no difference. Finally, I'm home. This is what you get for hurting my people. Alright, well, a little bit messy, but we got there. On it first. Um. Okay. Three, four, five. Mono white so far, but they're playing nothing, which is weird. A little sus. Also weird. Let's get the token train rolling then, I guess. Okay, Selesnia so now. No way it's enchantments. They always have one, two, and three drops. What? What hand did you keep that <laughs> you don't have a play until four? I'm astounded. Um, I guess we're going Elspeth here and probably drawing. Actually, minus three. Try and find... Yeah. The juice. Would love to have a safekeeping open next turn, so we'll try to play with that in mind. Hallowed Haunting on four, and that was the only play. I don't think they mulliganed either. <laughs> but like, what do you do against any aggro deck? We'll see, though. It may not be standard enchantments. Okay. There's a two drop. I am confused. No more, please. And thank you. Gross. Alright. Definitely a battle still. Let's do this together. If they get airborne, we're pretty much dead, right? Everything is a trade down from here. Okay. That is a stupendous card to have. Especially because their board just materialized out of nowhere. See what they want to do here. Another haunting. Huh? They need three more enchantments to get airborne. They also get vigilance too, which is really bad. Maybe able to just kill us here. Let's see if they tap the weaver. May have to exile that. Ooh. Okay, well definitely a farewell. Do your worst.
So if they don't threaten to kill us this turn, we do nothing because they die to the flying token next turn. And then we take out the naturalist. So if they just all in on Elspeth, we don't really need to do anything. I wonder if they just kept a hand with three hallowed hauntings in it, because it had three hallowed hauntings in it. If so, it's very greedy. They have to attack in with the Naturalist. Alright. My turn. Once I've rested, I'll be back. Got him. Hmm. First, we have greeters, I guess, into enforcements into fairy. So, try this out. Undoubtedly a kill spell just waiting to be launched. Oh! Nice. Maybe Rafine, then. No? Announcement. Okay. Punished by Extraction Specialist here, for sure. I think they just killed us, yeah. They collapse and nasty stuff. Could destroy evil and draw. Could Emperor on their turn minus get a 2-2 two -two and block. Next turn play this, I think we do that. Another announcement. I think we'll be taking that one out. I hope you're ready to keep watch for intruders. So let's see. Land here and to fairy untap destroy evil something. I'd also just go like this. Let your go here. And leave Destroy Evil open that way. Okay, Edgar. Let's draw. <clears throat> Shauna, good. Let's get Tamio down. Tap their Edgar so their attacks are bad. We also threatened to exile their Edgar, so that should incentivize them to try and kill the Emperor. Okay. Legend rule on Edgar. Seems good. For a complex plan. 
Let's improvise. I've got some time to hear it. Keep watch for intruders. Keep that tapped. Our will cannot be denied. Start attacking them. Okay, we'll take out their board. Ultimate Tamio next turn. Seems good. Every story draw two here. To the rise of Phyrexia. Still leaves up the reinforcements here. We'll have to be mindful of this flipping. Okay. Enough with the mysteries. We'll sacrifice one of these. Hated crowds. To fairy ultimate next turn. Cool. Let's drop. Seems good. Minus seven. Get our greets. This story. We've got the edge in this fight. No good attacks for Shauna, really, here. Let's draw. That's good. That's very good. They like their last two. Safekeeping is good here. Start whittling down their stuff. Don't really care about Liliana. Okay. Save Shauna here. Dry a bunch of cards.
Mm -hmm. I'm not overconfident. You're just under strike fast and strike hard. Nice. Never mind on drawing cards, we're just gonna go here. Fine. Okay, more land. Other announcement. I just ultimate Tamio again. Could be holding an emperor here. We'll see. Oh wait, I'm an idiot. Ha. The past contains the blueprints of the future. Farewell feels bad. <laughs> you are not much of a roadblock. Second here, second there. Who's counting? All right, we've had enough. All right, we've reached the final boss yet again. We go first. We have our colors. Let's go. Would like a two drop, but can't be too picky. Opponent is fully Liliana simped out. Mono black to the end, baby. Watch they drop an island. Oh! Good to see people have integrity. Stick to your colors. Do them proud. No two drops or three drops, though. Interesting. Or rather, one or two drops. I don't know what I'm talking about. I've been trying to rank up with this deck for probably four hours. And it is atrocious. No enchantment removal, please. Okay. This is fine. Happy to discard. Had a curtains the whole time. Get Tamio down. Pretty much plus two. We need to get it out in front of Invoke Despair. Because um, if they despair it, it's very bad for us, obviously. I'd like another white source to get Ward Pressure established as well. Or they can get rid of our enchantment. This card farewell here. Okay. You won't be outsmarting me. What? They're secretly Esper. What is this madness? Such an imperfect form. Tameo minus seven in effect. Invoke Despair ruins our day, though. Hero's Downfall? No, 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 no. They do love minus two. Let's see if they do it. Oh, they go full discard. That could actually be pretty bad for us as well. Minus four Emperor, Exile, Attack Down Liliana, play this. Seems good. 
Oops. You still have a role in our grand story. You still take this fight. You're done. Do not touch me again. <laughs> Sword, huh? No cost is too good. Into a little vampire? No, no, no. Oh, one of your friends has to leave. Well, Sorn dies, so you may as well draw a card. This is not the way, my friend. This is not the way. You cannot delay. All right, let's get the train rolling with this. Protect the people. Face here. Vampire will never attack. Darkness, I and turn, we'll keep these in hand. Maybe we can bait a Liliana discard. Hey, we finally ranked up. Cut <laughs> to Diamond 2. Oh, God. What a slog. Alright, welcome back to the post-game deck overview. That was Bant Super Friends, kind of, with a little bit of creatures splashed in. Uh, three versions, 54% win rate, 63 on the play, 45 on the draw. Not really good. Uh, we went 26 to 22, <laughs> played it for 4 hours and 39 minutes. Oh my goodness, what a slog that was. Um, the final version of the deck, there have been three, ended up going... 14 and 11, 56% win rate, consistent on the draw um, stat, and then on the play, 73% of the time we win. Uh, we went from Diamond 3 to Diamond 2, finally ranking up. But, man, there are just some rough, rough, rough losing streaks that happen playing this. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at the history really quickly. Um, I made this a while ago, so... I played it a little bit here, it was terrible, I stopped playing it. But we revisited it, and we made some changes. We took out two Phyrexian Missionaries and King Darien, we added in two more Resolute Reinforcements, and one more Destroy Evil. Um, we actually went 10-7 and seven that play session, I probably should have just used this, but whatever. Uh, and then went on a bad losing streak and quit, because that was rage-inducing. Uh, and then we decided to try and rank up with it, and we went here. The changes we made here are we removed one Wandering Emperor and added in an additional Teferi uh, for the life gain, and then also um, the minus seven you can get to fairly easily as long as Teferi lives. Um, you can get to it in, what if you plus, it goes to five, six, seven, two turns if you have um, a Broker's Ascendancy down. Uh, and we took out Two Shattered Sanctum and two Caves of Coilos, which I don't know why they were even in the deck in the first place. We have no black. Um, and then we added in appropriate mana. So, yeah, those were the only real changes to the list. Um, in terms of card selection, I toyed around with the idea of um, putting in some one drops as well. Um, like, what's the. There's a green one drop that. It's not Ascendant Pack Leader. Um, it has trample, it's a 1-1. One, one. Whenever a card is removed from your graveyard, it gets plus one. And then when it dies, you gain life equal to um, its total power or toughness, one of the two. Um, so I was thinking of putting those in there because obviously you can get it boosted with the ascendancy pretty easily. Um, it's a one drop and we need something to do on one or if we miss land or whatever. Uh, and then, um, yeah, we gain life when it dies. So that was a consideration too. Um, Maybe another Elspeth as well to make use of the minus three. Cut down on one Johnny. I have two in here just because it's new and I wanted to play it, but I'd probably cut down on this card um, and add in Elspeth uh, and another Emperor to make it four Emperors, two Elspeth, zero a Johnny. Um, the, I will say, though, the minus three on a Johnny did come into play a couple of times and was pretty helpful, um, but again, is it enough to keep it around and try and minus six for the memes and win that way? Probably not. Um, farewell, I think, is needed against enchantments, pretty much. Um, what else is there? Shauna is iffy, because if you play it on three, especially if you are on the draw, um, it just dies. So, 
I don't know. That's a iffy card as well, actually. Um, maybe cut Shauna, add two more extraction specialists, and then maybe add in some cheaper cards as well to synergize better um, with the specialist, because as long as you keep having things on board, when you get the ascendancy down, the game can spiral out of control for the opponent very quickly. I do like having Tamiya safekeeping as well, because that has come in clutch a couple of times, especially saving, um, I think it was either a Tamiya or, Tamiya or Teferi, um, when they were about to ultimate, the opponent targeted it with a hero's downfall, and we saved it with the safekeeping, um, and it used up most of their turn. Um, and then, yeah, I like Tamiya a lot in here, actually, because um, it can tap down and keep tap down threats like um, an Adeline, for example, things with Vigilance that just keep growing and are super annoying. Um, and then, of course, the minus X ability can get back a lot of things in the deck, too, so... Um, I think this is definitely a, a mainstay in this list, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I hope you guys enjoyed the games at least. Um, I definitely probably wouldn't recommend trying to rank up with this. It was a pain in the butt, and I absolutely mauled a couple of times. So um, yeah, there's there's decks that are better on your stress levels that are easier to uh, to rank up with. But this is just a fun archetype to play, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and a comment down below, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, I try and post content fairly frequently, so yeah, if you liked what you saw and you want to see more, stop by. All right, that's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next video.